The long-nosed bandicoot, Peromelis nasuta, is a species of bandicoot found in eastern Australia, from North Queensland along the east coast to Victoria. Around 40 cm, 16 in, long, it is sandy or grey-brown with a long snouty nose. Omnivorous. It forages for invertebrates, fungi and plants at night. French naturalist Eshine Louis Geoffroy described the long-nosed bandicoot in 1804. Swiss naturalist Heinrich Rudolf Sins described a large specimen from near Bathurst in the Blue Mountains as a new species, Aromalis Lawson, in 1825, though the specimen was lost at sea in shipwreck. French naturalist Pierre Boitard described Isudon Musai in 1841, both are now classified as P. Nasuta. Two subspecies are recognized, 6, p. Nasuta subspecies Nasutu is found from western Victoria through eastern New South Wales and north to central Queensland, and p. Nasuta subspecies Palestines, found from central Queensland through to the Cape York Peninsula. The long-nosed bandicoot is the largest member of its genus which also includes the eastern barred bandicoot and the western barred bandicoot it is most closely related to the eastern barred bandicoot, the two species having diverged from one another in the late Pliocene. Their ancestors diverged from the ancestor of the western barred bandicoot in the Miocene. He long-nosed bandicoot is much less colorful than its relatives, being primarily a sandy brown or grayish color. It is nocturnal, non-climbing, solitary and omnivorous. Its body length is around 40 cm, 16 in, including a tail length of 14 cm, 5.5 in, and it weighs 1.5 kg, 3.3 pounds. It has a very prominent long nose and small pointed upright ears, a hunched looking posture, a short tail, a rear facing pouch, and three long, clawed toes on front feet. The droppings are 3.5 cm, 1.4 in, long by 1 cm, 0.39 in, wide. The long-nosed bandicoot has a high-pitched squeak when disturbed. The long-nosed bandicoot is omnivorous and nocturnal, foraging for insects, such as beetles and beetle larvae, grubs, plants, including the roots of monocots, and fungi. Invertebrates make up most of the diet year-round, with spiders, caterpillars, leaves and seeds more common food items in summer and cicada larvae, blades of grass, bracts, tiny true leaves, of wattles, and underground items such as roots and fungi eaten more in winter. Long-nosed bandicoots spend much of their time digging, and often leave characteristic conical holes in the ground where they have foraged looking for grubs in the soil. It is often found near compost heaps. A field study in Budurai National Park showed that bandicoot numbers markedly increased following increase in invertebrate numbers before declining within two years.